Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about my Audi A3, my 1.8T today, and everything that I've done it to, to it so far, since I've, I'm done pretty much building it, and there's no reason for me to build it more, so I'm just going to go over some parts on this car that I've done, so pretty much everything I've done to this car, well, I've had it for over a year and a half now almost, I bought it from an auction, all damaged up. I'll provide some pictures for uh, probably right after this right now. Uh, anyways, got the car 89,000 miles. Uh, I'm at 121,000 right now. So that's like in a year and a half, pretty much almost a year and a half of racking up miles. So I've been driving this car every day. Um, I'm, I'm close to uh, 330 horsepower. I'm probably around like 320 right now, pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get into some mods on this car. So if we can start off with the front lip. I bought it from ECS Tuning. Uh, about like two months ago it cost me around like 170 bucks originally it was for like $500 but they had some kind of discount or something so I got this nice carbon lip it came damaged but I fixed it up but it this, this thing easily cracks that's what sucks about it but hey that's whatever and then um, I got this grill from eBay I forgot how much it was but it was about like 200 yeah 200 I got it from Germany, got shipped out less than a week. I got it, installed it perfectly fine. Looks good, good quality on it. Let's see what else. Oh, I hear some rims, the rotor forms, some kind of lasers. Uh, they're 19 by 8.5 with an offset at 45. Uh, traded them in, I mean, didn't trade them. I pretty much bought them. Uh, I used to have black ones on these, the same exact ones as in black, but 18 inch. Uh, science skirts, I got them for like a hundred bucks on eBay. Got the paint matched. This one is sagging a little bit because the 3M tape kind of got messed up, but hey, for 100 bucks, it looks good. We got, this is not real carbon, but when I bought them on eBay, they were like 30 bucks. On the picture, it is showed uh, as real carbon, but this is what arrived. So this is the only carbon that does not match up with any of my other carbon parts. Uh, the roof also was painted black. And here's a front uh, rear lip real carbon also was around 300 bucks and got the rear diffuser that one took a while to get but it's around 350 because i got it from ebay and for the 1.8 t audis they don't really sell them so it was kind of hard to find one that worked and i got one of the two exhaust exits because that's when i uh, installed my double exhaust exits on this car and I bought this from Facebook Marketplace, this exhaust, for around $500. And it works really well. It fits all the hangers correctly. And all I did was just add one, one inch uh, or two inch pipe from AutoZone with some tips. And it extends just perfectly enough where it looks good. But this exhaust pipe goes down to the middle. Uh, it's called an MBRP exhaust. It was around 500 bucks when I got on Facebook used and it goes down to the middle where there is I probably you probably won't see it but um, it's a resonator it's an 18 inch resonator for like 100 bucks yeah you probably won't see it anyways it's an 18 inch vibrant performance resonator um, got it for 100 bucks it re works really well so if you don't want your car to sound like a tractor definitely buy one of those because it'll, it gets rid of that tractor sound all right, so pretty much that was all the outside mods, the cosmetics, but you can see. Uh, I'm about to go through the inside. Inside doesn't look the best right now because it's, I haven't cleaned it in a while. But, yeah, just put some little cool kits. Uh, the only problem with all German cars is the headliner keeps falling off. So instead of wasting money for a new one, I just tacked it in with some little thumbtack nails. And it works, so I can't even complain. They used to have butterflies on them, but apparently they were hot glued. So they just melted right off. It looked good before, but that's what I'm left with. But yeah, that's the back. 
The front's also got the little carbon stuff. A little dirty, but I'll need it. I need to clean it. Got more of that. So nothing too crazy. Here you go. I got my shifter right here. Some more little carbon accents. <clears throat> and then here we have my um, the R7 uh, radar detector. I got it for Amazon for like five hundred fifty dollars. Works really well. Saves me a lot of trouble, and I haven't got a single ticket. Uh, so far after owning it, so it's really it's really worth it. Uh, I have an Insta360 camera for any thing that happens. Since I had my re previous car crash and I had no evidence of uh, me proving myself not to be the one guilty for the crash, but this was around 600 bucks. It's really nice. It gives you all the views. It gives me that window, this window right here, the front and the back window just a little bit, just enough. And if we go around. <coughs> This is my best purchase for the interior I made so far. It was around 450 bucks. I got a really good deal on it. But some guy, he sold me this steering wheel. And I put Alcantara. It was like 50 bucks. An Alcantara kit. It took me like four hours to stitch it on there. But I did a pretty good job. At least it's on there. It's not going anywhere. It was really good. And they were fully functional. So that's what's cool about this. And um, more some accents. More accents there, there. Uh, yeah, dash is normal. So that's pretty much it for the interior. Oh, I got that too. I guess more carbon accents here. But yeah, I guess we can go to the final step where just the, car, the mods on the car itself. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I do have fire stick sure just in case if anything does happen. And I do have upgraded pedals. Much better look than the stock black plastic ones, which are nasty. Anyways, let's get to the engine bay where most of my money was spent, like a lot of it. Anyways, I'm going to try to get the prices right of what I remember purchasing it for. So I guess we can start off from whatever is the easiest. So an intake right here, it came with a plastic and a filter. That costed around, I think I bought it for $270. Um, came with this little filter also. This little uh, silicone tubing. I forgot what inlet pipe tubing or whatever it's called. Bought it for around 80 bucks. Here we have a CTS, this little metal one right here that connects to the turbo from this one. I got it for like 80 bucks also. It's really good. It gives a, I can definitely feel more air coming through. Uh, here's a diverter valve right here. Bought that thing for like uh, 200. I'm not 100% sure, maybe 150. This really works. It keeps boost better than the original one. Even though the tuners recommended me that's no point of doing it, but I did it either way and it's it's 100% worth it. So if you're looking to buy it, it's a good upgrade. Uh, the turbo, I installed it from a GTI with 45,000 miles once I was at 100K. It's IS-20 turbo. Best upgrade you can make to your IS-12 uh, turbo. You'll feel insane difference and the car just feels so much better. Uh, I got turbo blanket over that turbo also. That was like 50, 80 bucks probably. I have a downpipe. That's uh, from CTS, round powder buck, which I wrapped with some wrap from Amazon for like 50 bucks. Um, let's see, I got these belts, uh, coil packs. Those I probably got around 100 bucks. Uh, I do have Denzel spark plugs. They were 50 bucks a piece, but they say on their website that's a, a step colder of a spark plug, so it's better for more power. <clears throat> it like ignites colder, I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I've heard. So those are good too. Um, this APR catch can system that connects like this. This is probably my most expensive that doesn't really, you can't really feel power from it, but it does help because I started um, having leaks right here because of the crank uh, building up so uh, hard that it started leaking out of the freaking gasket area. So I installed this and dude, this thing is good. I check it once a month. I get around like one third of a bottle of oil from a plastic bottle when I spill this out. So it's really good. It catches all that excess oil that comes through. Um, oh, I have new motor mounts and a transmission mount, which is down there. It's it, the first time I installed it, the car was shaky, but after a month I gave it, it it's fine now, but obviously it still shakes sometimes because it is keeping the engine very stiff, which is good, which I do not have any more wheel hop, which is, if that's what you're looking for, definitely get a engine and transmission mount. And trust me, your engine will feel super like it's ready to go. It's not going to bounce or anything. The East uh, Tunezillo is who tuned my vehicle. 
I'm at stage three right now, stage three, like custom tune for an IS20. And apparently my Audi 1.8T is the first Audi they tuned ever because when I first had it to get tuned for just stage one, they had issues and they try to go through a stock uh, uh, Volkswagen IS12 turbo one, uh, the Mark 7. And uh, I guess they figured it out for my vehicle and now they have some kind of file for my vehicle. And if anyone else wants to ever tune it for the 2015 Audi A3 1.8T specifically, they'll be able to do it right away. So that took a while for them to do, but I got it done. Uh, the tunes in total for this car cost around 1,500, but I'm at stage three. So I went from stage one, stage two to stage three. So all in total. Oh, and, the, and the, because this is DSG, I had to spend another 500 bucks, which kind of sucks because I'm a manual. My TDI, the one I had last time, I did not have to. Uh, tune that but for this one it was 500 bucks to get stage 2 dsg but it does feel faster and more smooth when you downshift with the dsg uh if we can go down to my more harder install which is the can't really see it but it's a fat radiator and there's a fat cts intercooler and this radiator was around 300 dollars and the cts intercooler was around 600 dollars on sale from 800 so I got that and uh, it added a, a brown two extra inches of thickness. So I had to dremel this uh, down a bit because it got really close, the, the coolant pipe. And uh, because it's so close, I had to trim down my fan also because it started breaking my um, manifold uh, sensor right here. As you can see, it's cracked. So I had to trim that down also because that's how thick it is. Uh, and then I got some intercooling piping. I forgot where I got it from. It was like DFG or something. DFG was like $90 or something. And then my Equity, uh, you can't really see, but it's in the middle right there. Equity, uh, the charge that goes from the turbo down into the intercooler. That was around um, 200 plus bucks, I think. And for some reason right now, they're selling for $80 online. So I don't know why, but that's all the mods, I believe. Oh, actually, no, I do have some more under here. You can't see it, but the mod is uh, some kind of a billet. I don't see, I don't think you see, I'll try to get lower here, but it's a, it's a mount 034 mount on the bottom. This also helped. That's the first one I put down. It really helps also with the bottom of the engine to not move. So it's really good. And I'm pretty sure that's all I have done to this car. So it's quite a lot. And the only issues I've ever had this with this car I forgot what it's called. The coolant. I had a whole bunch of coolant issues. Just so much. It, it was just a pain in the butt. Like, I started off somewhere here, coolant issue. Then I had a coolant issue happen over there somewhere, somewhere in the back. So I had over 10 times where the coolant just kept leaking, but I figured it all out. It was all just bad rubber hosing from age or just the plastic cracked and I had to get it replaced. But coolant has not given me an issue ever since. And I did have some oil problems, which I just figured out, which which was an oil pan. So I just swapped that out, and pretty much that was pretty much it. So now you know everything that I've done to the car to get it to stage three and where it's at right now. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll try to post more about it because I'm trying to get an S3 soon, um, and I'm just gonna swap over all these parts pretty much, and this car will be stock from all those s3 parts so that's gonna be sad but i will have an all-wheel drive finally instead of a front wheel drive so it's gonna be a lot of fun